All right, today's lesson is 6-2 substitution, day two. So if you have 2x plus 5 equals 2x plus 7, how would you solve that? Well, you should say we'd subtract 2x from each side. It would give us 5 equals 7. 1 does 5 equal 7? Never. So there's no solution to that problem. This is your review, by the way, for our discussion. What about 2x plus 7 equals 2x plus 7? We would solve this one by subtracting 2x from each side. You would get 7 equals 7. When does 7 equal 7? It would be always. So that means that there are infinite solutions to the problem. So today we're going to look at some examples of when that occurs. Today's objective is still going to be you'll be able to solve a system of equations by using substitution. All right, example one. We need to get one rid of one variable and equation. We do this by substitution. So since we already know that y is equal to this equation, that's the one we're going to get rid of. So we take this equation and we plug it in for y. That's going to give us 3x plus 3 times 2x plus 3 equals 45. Distribute that 3, you get 3x plus 6x plus 9 equals 45. Combine your like terms. Gives you 9x plus 9 equals 45. Subtract the 9. Get 9x equals 36. Divide by 9x equals 4. We take that 4 and we plug it in in the first equation. Y, sorry, to y equals, I'm getting ahead of myself here, 2 times 4 plus 3. It gives you 8 plus 3, so y equals 11. So your final answer is 4, 11. Okay. It's a pretty typical one. Okay, second example. y equals 2x plus 3. We know the y is by itself, so we're going to substitute. This is going to give us negative 4x plus 2 times 2x plus 3 equals 6. So you get negative 4x plus 4x plus 6 equals 6. Then your x's cancel out, and you're just left with 6 equals 6. So it says, what is y equal to? Well, here we don't really have an x equal to anything, so we can't plug an x into this. But we had 6 equals 6. And as soon as you get to that point, you know that your answer is going to be infinite solutions. Okay, so as soon as you get a number equal to a number, if they're the same, then it's infinite solutions. If they're different, then there would be no solutions. Okay, example three, we don't have anything by itself yet. And so what we're going to do is, I'm going to get y by itself because it's a plus y already. So I'm going to add x to the other side in the top equation. It gives me y equals x plus 4, or 4 plus x. I plug that into the second equation. Negative 3x plus 3 times x plus 4 equals 10. <laughs> distribute this 3, you get negative 3x plus 3x 
plus 12 equals 10. Those cancel out via 12 equals 10. When does 12 equal 10? Never. So there's no solution. At least the addition end of what we learned last week is fairly simple. We're just looking at when do we get uh, infinite solutions and no solutions. Okay, here's four problems I want you to try out. As always, pause the video and I will do them now. So first we have y equals 3x plus 5, and then that's 4x plus 2y. We already have y by itself, so we substitute that equation in to the second one. It gives you 4x plus 2 times 3x plus 5 equals 40. Distribute the 2. 4x plus 6x plus 10 equals 40. Combine your like terms. 10x plus 10 is 40. Subtract 10 over. You get 10x equals 30. Divide by 10, x equals 3. Remember, we are not done yet. We have to plug that in. So then you do y equals 3 times 3 plus 5. 9 plus 5 is 14. So your answer would be 3, 14. Okay, on to the next one. Take the 2x plus 3 and plug it in here. So you do negative 4x plus 2 times 2x plus 3 equals 12. Distribute the 2, you get negative 4x plus 4x plus 6 equals 12. Now your negative 4x and your 4x cancel, you get 6 equals 12. When does 6 equal 12? Never. So it's no solution. Number three, got to get y by itself first. There's no number with the y, so it's going to be the easiest to get by itself. So that's why we're going to choose y. So it gives us y equals 3x plus 4. Then we substitute that in here. Negative 9x plus 3 times 3x plus 4. I have to distribute the 3. I'm going to start skipping that step. Negative 9x plus 9x, those cancel. You get 12 equals 12, so that would be infinite solutions. Pretty easy. Number four. Four x plus y equals eleven. You can start by getting y by itself. It gives you y equals negative four x plus eleven. Then plug that in. It gives you three x. I will go ahead and do the whole, the whole distribution step here. So it gives you three x plus eight x minus 22 equals 0. Add the 22 to the other side. Combine your other terms. It's going to give you 11x equals 22 divided by 11 x equals 2. Take that x, plug it in up here. You can either plug it in here, or you can plug it into this equation. 
I'll choose the second one because it's easier. It flies by itself right here. So that's going to give you y equals negative 8 plus 11, which is 3. So your answer would be 2 comma 3. All right, just because we're working on infinite solutions and no solutions doesn't mean that will always be your answer. Okay, we have plenty of time to get started on the homework, so I suggest you use this time wisely.